week, start of a new VOD and start of the road for an, an Audi S3 here for the new car detail. Three and a half thousand miles on the clock, however, so it's sort of borderline new car detail slash paint enhancement detail. Um, just means it's been exposed more to the elements, uh, contamination, so there's going to be more requirement for a thorough decon stage and maybe more areas of correction required. Already, you can see movement, you can see swirling on the paintwork, marring, hopefully nothing too deep or serious. As you can see, the car in question is particularly dirty. Lots of what I would say damaged material down the side, so really fine grit, rock salt, sand, dirt, what have you. All you want to be lifting with the wash mitt during the wash um, is a film, traffic film, so all the loose material needs to be removed prior to the physical contact being made, minimizing the risk of inducing it into the paint, into the lacquer, and stretching the surface. Okay, so start with the wet work on the S3. The cleaner the vehicle can be made without physical touch, the better. The loose and damaged material on the surface needs to come off prior to the physical contact being made to minimize the risk of inducing swirls. Lots of people can be scared of using a pressure washer. Personally, I wouldn't wash a car, unless it's a vintage uh, of some description, without one. Just being mindful that it, it doesn't always need to be full pressure. You don't have to be inches away from the paint. It's just that force, that pressure of water lifting the damaged material prior to you making the contact. So when you do come to using the, the wash mitt, you can be sure and confident that all you're removing now is a film rather than a loose grit, sand, rocks chips on the on the surface of the paint. If you're new to the safe wash idea on a vehicle um, and you've heard about the two bucket method, the idea is quite simple. If you imagine you've got a single bucket and a sponge, the dirt you're aiming to take off the car, you've got your sponge, you've got your bucket and your suds, shampoo car, shampoo car, shampoo car. The dirt you're pulling off the car on the sponge, back in the same bucket, back in the car, back in the bucket, back in the car. It's then a cycle of the dirty water scratching as you go. The idea of the two bucket wash, this is your sponge, essentially a merino wash mitt, so much more forgiving and absorbance. If you do pick up any stray contaminants on the surface, it's absorbed away from the paintwork. Got your shampoo, in this case, a nice wax friendly AM details bubbles, shampoo bucket, and rinse. Start on the roof, wash mitt, shampoo, half the roof, the glass, rinse it off, shampoo, wing, and the door, off, shampoo, car, rinse, shampoo, car, rinse. When you finish the car, shampoo is fresh, ready for your second car, whatever else, and the rinse bucket is black, it's full of the dirt. But before we do that, on to the snow foam stage. It's just another step to ensure the vehicle price that physical contact is free from contamination, or loose contamination, on the surface, and this just helps emulsify and soften a little bit more than otherwise you would just for the pressure of the water alone. Safe wash and two part chemical decontamination complete. Moving the vehicle inside now to towel it dry uh, before the final, third and final decontamination stage, which is the clay bar to remove any remaining surface contaminants. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thursday morning update at the unit. The S3 is sat now to one side waiting on collection. After its new car preparation, all surface protection inside and out. There's various clips, drawing clips, process 50-50 video footage that I've not been able to use due to time restraints. Uh, I need to really try to keep it snippets as opposed to full on 10, 11 minute vlogs each time. So I'll show some of the footage from the Audi before giving you some very quick highlights of today's job, a Discovery 4. Here, 13 months ago for its new car prep, the vehicle is used as a shooting bus. So you can see it's well caked up. Just filling the buckets, nice warm water, fresh out there. Uh, cue the new music now. End of the day on Thursday and the disco has been a breeze, really a nice easy day. Uh, very well maintained since its last visit for the new car preparation. Protection is holding up nicely. Wheels have been topped up inside and out, glass throughout, and engine bay tidy, done. Uh, next in for next week is an Ibis White R8 2009, here for the white detail, which is as much as I can possibly do. Full major paint correction, all of the protection upgrades, all of the bolt-ons. Uh, and extras, so looking forward to that. Those that vlog professionally for a living and do it daily, there's a really nice sunset. I ought to really stop and get a time lapse of this, bear with me. Those that vlog daily, hats off to you, if I had a hat on. Um, it's hard work, it really is. You lose where you are, what you've said, what you said you're going to say, what you've done, try not to repeat yourself. I like the craft, I like the creative aspect of the editing, albeit quite time consuming. Wow, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. Told you, 